I will go through three reports that are very handy if you work as a manager, a team leader, or just want to look into key figures for your employees. Be aware that if you do not have access to the reports I go through, it can be a restriction in your role or a missing setup. So the first report I would like to show you is called time registration per project slash employees. So let's find it in here. It's under the analysis reports. So this report is somehow overlooked by many, but once you get into it, it is quite useful. I really love this as I use it to get the full overview of where the time registrations are placed. Very similar to the time registration new report. So first, the filters. You have a lot of options to view by many filters like departments, project, customer, and employee, and of course, the period. So this is also the view options. So if I change it here to months, you'll see that it changed the period here. So the grouping will also show you if it's either on project level or employee level, that is here. So you can choose if you want to see how many levels on either projects or employees. So let's try and make a view here. So let's keep the view option to month and let's look at last year, maybe during, uh, let's say September to end 2020, end year. Uh, December. So the great thing about this report is that you get a clear overview of where your employees spend their time. You can then analyze and discuss if the workload or plan should change if you see behaviors not matching the employee's yearly plan or they are struggling to meet their targets. A thing I also love about this report is that the view option makes it possible to see months or weeks from early on so you can compare them. For an example, if one month the employee was registering a lot on a customer project and invoiced a lot of hours, but the next month they didn't, then you can make a deep dive and look into where the hours are then registered and discuss further with the employee how you can change the behavior or help out. So when we look into it, I can actually fold it out here. I'll see the project on task level because that was what we chose. And I can see, okay, how many registration were placed on each month. If I want to see it on employee, I'll just change the group in here. Click search. And then I'll see which employee has registered how many hours in the total. So this is really nice to go through if you want to see, I have a project, I have some tasks and how many hours are on it. You can also um, change the grouping. So if you want to see per employee and see, okay, how many registrations on which projects has each employee made? So this is also a very nice grouping. So, this report can, of course, also be exported out to send to employees or other managers by Excel, for an example. But that actually brings me to the next report that I believe is just brilliant. It is called Time Registration Accuracy. And this report is great for ensuring a good data quality. So let's look into it. under the salary and staff reports. So here's the report. Don't get intimidated by the few view options. This is a report to keep track of your employees' time registration behaviors, how often they track time and when the last registration was made, which is important to secure your data quality and be sure you are not missing out on customer or project hours. So let me show you some example. Be aware this is a test site and I do not have a lot of data. It will look differently on your side, but let's see. 
So let's take a period like maybe last year here and first 1220. So the quick overview here will show you the employee, the last time they did a time registration, the accuracy of those registrations in that period. You can compare the numbers with the period before, how many registrations in total were registered and the hours in totals, the columns here. So let's take a deep dive into the numbers. On all the employees, we can see when the last time registration was made. Most often, this report is good on a weekly basis, as you then can analyze on when and how often an employee registered time. If I see on an employee that it has been two or three days since the last time registration, and it might be a continuous habit, this can in the end cost you a lot of money. So when a consultant forget to register time and have to remember what work they did two or three days after, it is most likely that they will forget or miss out on billable hours that we as a company can invoice our customers. So as TimeLog is a time registration system, we want you to be able to follow up on how often and when employees register their time, because in the end, it is money. So the accuracy column will show you how accurate the employee is in registering their time. For an example, on employee FN, we see the accuracy at 5.83, which means that the registration made for this period is over five days after the work actually was done. That means the employee perhaps uses Monday morning to track last week's work. And here, a lot of money can be lost, but also registrations. The time lock system wants and encourages to be accurate in the work and registrations you do. So when employees register several days after the work is really made, there could be potential losses. This also leads to the next column, where you will see if the period before was better or worse for the employee. Was there something in that or this period that was different, maybe the workload? So it is a great thing to have the comparison to lean against for the adjustment or talk with the employees. The column total registrations is really fun to look into because this will actually show you how many registrations were made. So let's see on employee SV. For one month period, this uh, employee has registered time 23 times. Of course, since this is a demo site, it is still quite low for 20 days registrations. But if we look into the employee CC, we see that the employee only registered five times in one month. So this also gives you the overview of how many times an employee actually registered time during a period. I can tell you that we within TimeLock have employees in both ends of the scale. We see some where you can discuss if they register maybe too few times, but we also have others who register too much, so it might be disturbing. Here you only know yourself what is to be expected and is normal within your company, but it can be quite interesting to look into those numbers. Also see the last column for total hours registered is also just to compare the numbers. I hope you will love this just as much as I do. And I'll suggest that you look into this as you will most likely get some aha moments and perhaps use it actively with maybe an internal competition. So the last report I want to show you is the employee key figures. So let's find it here. It's under our key figures report. So this report show key figures per employee per month, and you can set a goal in the report. So employees who have not met the goal are marked in red. We will attach a guide for this report um, for where you can see what the different view options are and how they are calculated. But let's see some numbers either way. 
again, keep in mind that this is a demo site, so I do not have a lot of data in here. But let's take an example for year 2020. And let's make a view option for invoicing. So the results will show each employee and the numbers per month. In this case, it would be the amount of an employee's work that can be invoiced. So the amount is in proportion to the employee's normal working time. We often see that the target for consultants percentage of invoice registration is around 70 to 80%. So if I set the target in here, I will see the colors change. So let's make a target of 70, click show. <laughs> and you'll see uh, that as I do not have any over 70%, let's try and change it to 30, see if that changes anything. To see everything is red now. Let's see if there's someone above 30. We have one. Still, this is a demo site, so that is why. But you will then see, okay, all the negatives on those that doesn't meet the target will become in red. Let's just delete it for now. So this is a great report for you to look up and it indicates where your consultants are in the month of the, for an example, potential invoice registrations. As the view options are many in this, let's try one more view, maybe do the registered in percentage. So this is how much of the employee's normal working time that has been registered during the time period. So these are actually the actual hours divided by the normal working hours and minus the vacation. You will see more about that in the guide we will send you about how the calculations are made. So when you see employees with low percentage, it indicates that they have not registered their normal working hours or perhaps they are way above 100, so they have worked overtime. So you can see here the different numbers, okay? For September here, this one is over 100, so they have worked overtime, but the other months, not that much. It's a demo, that is why. So this is also a fantastic report that gives you the key figures and a quick overview of a target set by you. So these were actually the three reports I wanted to tell you a little about. I know that there are a lot of reports and other reports that you also use on a regular basis as a leader or manager. And you most likely also look into our time registration new report, the internal external or some absence reports. But sometimes it's just nice to try something else with a different view. And I hope you will try them out.